In this tutorial, we are going to implement two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication means that user will be verified twice before login. First factor should be what they know, like password or some security question. Second factor will be what they have, like mobile or fingerprint. We are going to use SMS for two-factor authentication. First create a table where all users' data will be stored. You might already have that if you are working on existing project. Now the phone field is important, we will be sending SMS to this field value. And there should be an option to enable or disable this two-factor authentication, so a Boolean field. And a PIN which will be sent on SMS. Create a registration form which will have all fields. and a submit button. Now check if the form is submitted. Then get all fields from form. You must encrypt your password so that even if someone hacks your database, he will still be unable to know the passwords. This is a PHP built-in function and it will convert the text into hash. Now create an SQL query to insert these fields in database. email and password should be form field values. Two-factor authentication should be disabled by default. And the PIN will be empty. Now execute the query. and redirect the user to login page. So it has redirected you to login page but it does not exist yet. And the data has been saved. Now create a file for login. We do not need the phone field in login. Replace register with login in this file. And we do not need to convert the hash password here. Now we will get the user's data from database using his email. Do not need to redirect here. Save the query result in a variable. Now first check if the email exists in database. If does not exists then we will simply display an error message. Then fetch the row of user from database. First check if the user has entered correct password by comparing with hash stored in database. 
First parameter will be text, and second will be hash stored in database. Then check if user has enabled two-factor authentication. If not, create and set the as verified value to true. This is not coming from database, we have set a new value to database object and set its value to true. Then store this row variable in session, so we will have database row and is verified value in session. This will be false only when user has enabled two-factor authentication, because then we will first verify him by sending an SMS. Then simply read rec to index or home page. And display an error for wrong passwords too. As we are using sessions, so we have to call a function named session start, otherwise session will not be saved. Now if user has enabled two-factor authentication, then set the is verified to false. Save in session. Generate a random pin of six digits. Rand is a PHP built-in function that will generate a random number. We are setting range from 0 to 9 so it is always generate a random single digit. And we will set this pin in the database. After that, we have to send an SMS but that is a bit complex process, so we will cover it after this. And redirect to enter PIN page where user has to enter the PIN received in SMS. First I am typing wrong password. Then the right one. So the two-factor authentication is disabled by default, so it has redirected us to index page. Now we need to show this page only if the user is logged in and verified. Create an index page. If you already have an index file, then you just need to do some minor changes. First start the session because we will be using session variable. Then connect with database. Check if user session exists and is verified. If not, then simply redirect to login page. If the user is logged in then we should also provide a way to log him out. So create a logout button. It will redirect to new page which will destroy the user session. Create a new file for logout. First start session, even to remove session variable, we need this function. An unset will remove the session variable. Then session destroy. And redirect back to login page. Now if log out, I will not be able to view the index page. After login, I can see. So now we need to allow user to enable or disable two-factor authentication. Create a form. Method should be post. An action should be this file. 
we will display two radio button to enable or disable this two-factor authentication. Name of both radio buttons should be same, but their value must be different. One for enable. And zero for disable. And a submit button. If you want these radio button to be checked for current state, then you have to get the user's record from database first. First get the ID from session. Then using that ID, fetch the record from database. And in radio for enable, echo checked attribute if the is TFA enabled value is true. And same goes for radio for disable, but it has to be inverted. So it will add a checked attribute on first radio if two-factor authentication is enabled, and a second if not. Now we will execute a piece of code when this form submits. Simply get the value from radio and update it in database. And just display a message for confirmation. So the TFA is disabled by default. I am going to enable it. And now when I try to log in, it will generate a PIN and redirect me to enter PIN page. Create file to enter PIN. I am making copy of register because it will be almost similar to register page. Create single field for entering PIN. Submit form data to this page. Here we only need PIN. And user ID from session. Now we need to verify the user from database using his ID from session and PIN from input field. If the record exists. Else we simply display an error message. Then empty the pin from database, so that it cannot be used again.
and set the session is verified to true. And now redirect to index page. And as we are using session variable, so we must call session start at the top of page. This is the pin generated for my account. If I enter wrong pin, it will give an error. Right now I am just copying the pin from database, but our next step will be to send an SMS on mobile. So if I disable the two-factor authentication, then it will not ask for PIN. But if enabled, then it will ask for PIN. Now Google Twilio PHP SDK. And go to their official link. Here copy this command, you need to run this command in your terminal. Open your project folder inside the terminal, if you are working on cPanel, then you can connect via SSH. And run this command at the root of your project. Once installed, you will have a vendor folder. And inside it, will be auto load file. We need to include this file in our project. In login.php, include this file at the top. We will need client class to send SMS, so first include this class. Use keyword is used to import the class. And we need SID and token, we can get it from Twilio console, I will show that in a moment. In the same page where we copied the command, go to login or sign up to create an account. If you are already logged in, this will be renamed to console, so you can still use this page. After login, you will be redirected to your Twilio console. Here you have your SID and auth token, by default token is hidden but you can view it by clicking show text. You can copy them and paste them here in their respective variables. And go to the section where PIN is generated and saved in database. After saved in database, create an object of client class and pass TAY SID and token from your Twilio console. And with this client object, access messages object. And call a function named create. First parameter will be phone number where SMS needs to be sent. We can get the user phone number from database. And second parameter will be an associative array. Here we have from key, and its value will be the phone number we have purchased from Twilio. Now Twilio gives a $15 trial balance, after that they charge per SMS at very low cost. And we have body key, its value will be the content of SMS. Here we will send this generated PIN, so the same PIN will be stored in database and same will be sent as SMS. So my pin is empty. I am going to log in. As the two-factor authentication was enabled, so it has sent me an SMS with the pin code. First I am writing wrong pin. And now the correct one. Although there are other services too which helps you to send SMS, for example Cinch. But if you are using any other service or technique and having difficulty in implementing two-factor authentication, you are welcome to mention it in the comments section below.